guys, Miss Daly here again with another Easter craft. Um, this one is very versatile as well, um, like the last one that I just showed you. Um, so you can just use what you have at home. Um, my inspiration for this um, was something that I made when I was in second grade. Um, and we did this at school, actually, and it was one of my favorite things. I, I loved doing it. Um, but we actually used a real egg. Um, and what our teacher did was she actually drained the egg beforehand. You can kind of see the hole. So that way, all we had was the shell. So we had to be super careful when we did this. Um, but this was my first time that I had ever, like, mod podge or decoupaged. Um, so... This is what we did. We first just had like a white shell and then we decoupaged a napkin on there. Um, I didn't have like a pretty floral napkin like this one, but I've got like a leftover like birthday napkin. And this is basically like the napkin it was. What's great about napkins is they're very, very thin and they're pliable. So that way you can sculpt it and move it around the curved surface of the egg. Um, so we use like a floral napkin. To do this and you can use tissue paper you can use dyed coffee filters because they're really pliable and movable um, my CVS kiddos know that we dyed a lot of coffee filters this fall um, so you can dye them with watercolors or paint um, and then get them the color you want and then that way you can put put it on your egg whenever we get started you can also use the brown paper bags if you want to give it like more of like a vintage look. Um, just make sure that you're only using like one sheet. It's really important that the sheets, whatever kind of paper you're using, are very, very thin. So then that way you can move it over the curved surface. Um, now, the eggs that we're going to be using today, I don't have real eggs. I decided to try to do something that was a little bit um, simpler, um, a little bit easier to do. Um, so you may have to use like several layers to cover up the existing color that's on there. Um, you can use magazine clippings. Okay, so just anything that's like really, really thin. Okay, so no construction paper or anything like that. No cardstock because it's not going to move to the curved surface of the egg. Now, if you do decide to use a real egg, remember you'll have to drain all that yolk out and all that, the egg whites and all that out. Okay, um, so that way you don't have anything left. So. Like I said, I did that one with a real egg years ago, and my mom has saved that. So props to her for saving it all of these years, right? Okay, with it being a real egg. So I have just some regular like plastic Easter eggs laying around the house um, that I was going to do um, some other kind of craft with. So I thought this will be a really um, easy craft for you all to do during this time while we are staying safe at home. So, like I said, the ones that I have right now are blue. So, if you decide to use, like, you know, like a light color or whatever, um, and like I said, that the paper is really thin, you may have to double up on your layers. And I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to leave it attached. So, that way it's easier for it to close. And so, what I did was I went ahead and I picked out, like, a magazine clipping that I liked the colors on. Now you can pick out whatever kind of color scheme that you want. Um, if you want to do like, you know, just greens, you can just pick out all green clippings or whatever, you know, it's kind of up to you. Um, I think it would be really cool to do just like a word page one, like with just words and things like that. So it'd look kind of vintage looking. Um, and like parents, I said, you can jump in and do this too and craft alongside with your kiddos. So if you want to make some decor for your house, you can jump right along in. Um, so what I did was I picked out um, like a little clipping of a dress. You can kind of see it. And I kind of wanted to go with like a floral pastel theme. So this size of this, and you can kind of see it in comparison to my hand, it's a little too big. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down, okay, because you don't want these pieces too oversized because it's going to make it tough for you to get along that curved surface. So you can either use just regular glue 
or you can mod podge okay or decoupage okay that's basically just um gluing things to the surface um with like a pretty pattern on it okay so um i'm just going to use regular glue today put it in a cup you all know my cvs kiddos this is how we use glue and then just get a paintbrush so i'm going to keep my egg together um and then i'm going to dip my paintbrush in the glue and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the glue, and you have to be kind of generous with it, okay? Put it on there. And your hands are going to get kind of messy with this, kind of gluey, kind of messy, all that good stuff. So then I'm going to take the little clipping that I just cut out, and I may even have to make it a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to have to. And see size comparison okay and then I'm just gonna put it right where I put that glue and then you're gonna have to press it down and get those air bubbles out okay so you're gonna get glue on your hands now what I suggest is don't put any of the clippings right there where that little edge is at where your egg is gonna close okay because you still want to be able to hear it snap so try to get it as close to the edge as possible Okay, and then that way um, you're still able to snap it, okay? So especially when you get down to the bottom part, the other half of the egg, make sure that you don't get it on that little crease edge right there, okay? Because you still want to be able to snap it. So once you get your entire egg covered, then what you're going to do is you're going to come back and you're going to add more glue on top of it, okay? And then that gives it that decoupage look where it almost looks kind of like plasticky looking okay and then just smooth any of those edges down okay and you'll just keep going with whatever magazine clippings that you want remember keep the magazine clippings or whatever clipping that you're using there's your size comparison pretty small because if you don't it's going to be really really hard to move it on that curved surface um you could cut out letters if you wanted to and personalize it and put your initials or your family's initials brothers and sisters initials with it whatever you want to do um you could dye the coffee filters and cut out the little scrap pieces and glue it on there you've got napkins could use that brown paper bags whatever you got at home okay just remember that the paper that you use has to be super super thin so that way you can get on the curved surface um you can use markers okay if you just wanted to decorate it with markers you could do that too um it just probably needs to be a permanent marker because it will scratch right off um like with the um, easter bunny craft that we did earlier i suggest if you go over any kind of plastic with marker that you either go over it with some glue paint it on there or some of the mod podge okay it just keeps your um marker from scratching off okay um you could also paint like glitter glue on there if you wanted um, your Easter eggs to sparkle. It's kind of up to you with whatever you want to do. And um, if you didn't want to cover your whole egg, you could just cut out different kinds of shapes. Like you could cut out hearts or whatever and just put like random shapes on there and not cover the whole thing. So it's really up to you how you want to personalize your little Easter eggs. Um, you do have to let these dry for a little while though because we are adding a lot of glue on there. So um, you have to allow yourself some drying time. So um, remember, this was the real egg. And then what I showed you today was with the um, plastic eggs. So do whichever way that you prefer or that's easiest for your family and for whatever supplies that you have laying around. Um, but I would love to see whatever you create so you can take a picture and drop it in the comment box, send me an email um, with your school email or your parents email. Um, we can connect through the Facebook pages if your grade level has one um, or your Google Classroom. Um, so just show me all of these 
beautiful Easter eggs that you all are making. I would love to see them. Um, I hope that this um, gives you some fun activities to do with your family during this special time. So I hope you all have a happy Easter. I'll catch you all later. See ya.